But they've already started using human trials in sending text messages with your pics, just like this. I, I actually was the first guinea pig. Anyway, listen, if you thought all of those technological advancements were cool, then think again. The gentleman sitting next to me, Dr. Amir Patel, who is uh, an individual who's really pushing ingenuity and technology with his developments in robotics. In fact, the robot that we see right in front of us is called Dima. Uh, that is drawn from the Sutta word Lehadima, which means flash of lightning. And it uses the technology or the movement of a cheetah's tail to do what it does. This is really, really amazing. And so the first thing I I want to ask Amir is robotics, cheetah's tail. What on earth was happening? How did that happen? Uh, well, so my PhD thesis was um, to understand what the cheetah's tail's movement, movements actually actually do. So mm -hmm. what we did is we developed some mathematical models, which is basically physics, uh, and then we simulated uh, those those equations, and then we actually built this robot to understand what the different motions of the tail mean to the cheetah. So is, what that they do. Is, that, is that supposed to be the tail? Yeah, it's a very supposed stiff to be, tail for a yeah, tail. yeah. When, when it actually actuates the tail, it actually tries to keep the tail mostly straight. Wow. If you watch the videos, yeah. So how long did this take you? I mean, you spent time at a, a cheetah conservation center, yeah. and you had to get really up close with, with these animals to, to learn more about them. So tell me about that experience. Uh, it was an amazing experience. So basically, this uh, my PhD took about two and a half years. Mm -hmm. So within that time, I visited the Cheetah Outreach Center, which is just outside Somerset West. Mm -hmm. um, and we viewed cheetahs uh, in various situations during their exercise runs with GoPro cameras. And then we analyzed the videos later. Oh, wow. And what is this robot actually supposed to do at the end of the day? Well, um, f well firstly, it was supposed to give us insight as to how the cheetah uses its tail. Mm -hmm. But then the added bonus is that we ended up with a more agile, high-speed robot. So this robot can, can turn at much higher speeds. I think they're going to show you some videos later. Uh -huh. um, and can also accelerate much better because the tail ends up stabilizing the body as it moves. At whatever angle. At whatever angle, yeah. And so I guess the, the very interesting question next up then is, is what kind of applications can this robot be used for? Well, I think uh, the obvious application is high-speed search and rescue. So you have some kind of disaster area or even some kind of planet you could send these things into. It can go in at very high speeds. Um, without falling over because the tail will end up stabilizing the body by flicking in the appropriate direction. Okay, so take me through how it works. You've got the controller here. Click, click. And then? Okay, so basically there's an onboard microprocessor um, and with a, an inertial measurement unit which consists of gyroscopes, accelerometers and a GPS. All of that on that little board? Yeah, there. all of it on this board. Wow. And then we command the car to do a turn or do some kind of maneuver. Is this through? No, through my laptop. Okay. There's actually a wireless connection over there. Uh -huh. Oh, you can see some videos. There. Oh, there we go. Okay. Yeah. So um, it's all automatic on board the, the robot. So um, this is this is an example without oh! the tail. Okay, yeah. well, that, that's without the that's tail. That's without the whip, tail. Whip tail. <laughs> <laughs> and then it falls over. Okay. So the, the tail then counters the movement yeah. and the weight balance. Yeah, the robot calculates how much motion of tail it needs. So you'll see that it can flick. Oh, look at that. And it can turn at much higher speeds now because of the tail. Wow. And I understand that you're busy developing uh, the, the software now, reprogramming and moving on to the next level. Yeah, we're busy upgrading the system at the moment, which is why I can't turn it on for safety. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, so we, we made the whole system lighter. Um, we, we're busy upgrading the software and we also want to have a look and see if we can make an aerodynamic tail because the cheetah's tail is also aerodynamic, which we didn't know before this which came out of this research. Absolutely fantastic. Listen, yeah. thank you very much for bringing this to us and good luck with your further developments in robotics and I hope that they continue yeah. to inspire. Exactly. Absolutely. Oh, man, imagine that. Just picturing a world where robotics and, and nature get together. Imagine a robot inspired by unicorns. Well, if only they were real.